What's up, guys? Jason here, aspiring entrepreneur. Showing you the day in the life of a budding entrepreneur, the hustle of building a business, the grind of creating content. And today is just another fun-filled day of content writing and editing. And man, it's actually, this is really starting to get to me. Unfortunately, I'm starting to blur the line between documentation and create creation where you know you want to optimize your content for you know keywords SEO what people are actually looking for and at the same time I want to share lessons learned with you guys and unfortunately the topics that line up with lessons learned and actual SEO is the list is getting shorter and shorter and shorter to the point where some of the videos I'm making now are strictly SEO which means I have to go research a little bit what I'm talking about not because I don't know but because I don't know what types of content does well for that for example I'm doing a video on outsourcing today there are a bajillion different things I could talk about in my experience in outsourcing but there's only one or two that actually is going to keep audience retention for new people who don't know who I am yet and actually rank really well and you know the difference between documentation and creation is just night and day when it was documentation 24 7 videos were super easy they came really naturally because all I had to do was talk about my experience I just shared what I thought was most important and now as I get deeper into content marketing it's a little less about just document 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 and it's a little more segmented documentation where you choose a little more strategically what you're documenting it's not like a vlog like this where I can just say hey this is what I'm struggling with today it's like okay this video is about outsourcing but of the 20 different things I want to talk about with outsourcing, what's the one or two things that people are actually looking for? And that's really, I think, the good blend between documentation and creation, where you have documentation, you're always speaking from your experience, that way you're not researching and then having a video on something you've never done before. But at the same time, remembering that not necessarily everything you want to talk about is what people want to hear or people want to listen to. So it's always important to add that grain of salt of, okay, in this realm of outsourcing, what do people actually want to learn? And so that's my struggle and headache for the day. And that does it for today's struggles, but they definitely bring up a lot more questions than answers. And one of the things I'm really struggling with right now in my content marketing, and you, this is something you probably want to think of too, even if you're not doing video, if you're doing blogs or social content, you know, where is the tipping point of effort, right? Because you know there's a minimum viable effort or quality of your video, your blog that you need to have. And then there's, oh, you're like in the top 10 or 5% of quality in terms of the type of content you're producing in your niche. And then after that, there's all that extra effort that really doesn't really result in much. It's like diminishing returns. And you really want to find that tipping point in your content. And one of the things I'm struggling with is I don't have a good metric to figure out the tipping point in my content. I don't know if spending an extra 30 minutes editing actually results in more views or people could care less. And so it's definitely something that I encourage you to think about in your content in terms of being definitely don't want to be a perfectionist. So you definitely need some level. But then after there's there's a certain point where your audience doesn't care, like they're happy with the great information. And it doesn't matter that you spend an hour making this cool little graphic or, you know, an extra 30 minutes editing. It's just kind of it's just kind of a wash. So it's something that I am definitely trying to figure out. And on that note, I need to seriously reevaluate what's on my plate. You know, last month I talked a lot about radical focus and that's something that I haven't been doing. And you know, it's past 12 o'clock again. It's definitely not a sustainable habit at all. I know we all like to think, oh, I'm hustling, yeah, I'm working. But you know what, our bodies are not designed to work 16 hours a day every single day. So, you know, you'll definitely have some health issues or you'll burn out. I can feel a burnout around the corner. So I definitely know I need to pump the brakes a little bit and figure out, okay, what's really important and what has kind of creeped onto my plate that is sucking away time from the 50 and hundred dollar hour tasks that I really should be focusing on. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some value out of today and comment below if you're working on your content marketing strategy and have any questions about it. And of course, until the next video, keep building the business you love. Take care.